many of us know that there's many things that can change our blood sugar levels. What we eat, uh, what we do, how we take our medications, when we take our medications, if we're ill, all of those factors play a part in our blood sugar management. However, today I'm not talking about any of those, but I'm going to talk about how weather, whether it may be too hot or too cold, can actually have an impact on your blood sugar readings. So make sure you guys are tuning in all the way to the end. I'm going to start with the heat and then we're going to talk about the cold. Guys, welcome to my channel, The Voice of Diabetes. This is Diana Bitucci. If you are new, consider subscribing. And if you're enjoying my videos, please give a thumbs up and share with others that you know this video may help. So we know that the heat can directly have an impact on our blood sugar readings. When it's too hot and we may become more dehydrated, we're not replacing as, as much water as we're losing. And of course, that can lead to dehydration, which can cause higher concentration of blood glucose levels and therefore can cause higher blood sugar readings. And we know that when we are dehydrated, the kidneys are not getting as much blood flow. As a result, they are not able to excrete the glucose the way that they should in turn causing high blood sugar readings. Today I really want to talk about the, the tips that you can take in the summertime that you can avoid these problems that we know can cause a fluctuation in your blood sugar readings. Number one guys is staying hydrated. In the summertime of course we tend to be more active and we know that you know a warmer temperature we can sweat and lose water and therefore we want to be very mindful and we want to make sure we're replenishing and rehydrating. So I always say carry a water bottle with you at all times. I'm not saying to just chug down uh, as much water as you can because that's also not great, but we wanna make sure that you're staying hydrated um, enough where your urine color should be more on the clear side and not heavily concentrated when your lips are not very dry and overall you just feel well hydrated. Number two is you wanna store your medications appropriately because we know that test strips, meter, insulin and certain medications in extreme temperatures like hot can actually become degraded and of course they might be useless at that point we don't know how well they're going to work or what they're going to do so you might test your blood sugars and your test strip may not be working well or your meter may not be working well or the insulin may not be working well of course or the medication because you've left it in extreme temperature so storing them at the proper temperature the way that they're supposed to is extremely important. And I always say if you're traveling, sometimes patients will, you, will use an ice pack to keep the, the insulin or the medications at the cool temperature that they're supposed to be capped at. I always tell patients, make sure you're keeping them away from the direct sunlight and don't leave them in the car because we know in the summertime, the car can become extremely hot and that can, can pose problems for your medications and all your diabetic supplies. Staying out of the extreme heat is crucial. I always tell patients, I want you to stay as active as you can. I want you to continue to exercise even during the summer months. However, either go early in the morning before the sun is out or go later in the evening when the sun sets. So that way you're avoiding the hottest part of the day. And of course, I'm not saying that you can't go outside when it's warm, but making sure that you're staying in the, sh in the shade as much as you can that you're carrying a water bottle if you're going out or if you're sitting outside. And of course, keeping your medications and all of your diabetic supplies and storing them appropriately is extremely, extremely crucial. I cannot overemphasize it. Unfortunately, there's a lot more hospital admissions during the summertime. And it's also because of this reason, they become extremely dehydrated and their blood sugars just spike out of control and patients have a very hard time bringing those blood sugar levels to a normal range. I want you to prevent the unnecessary hospitalization by taking all the proper precautions and making sure that you're doing everything that you can do because we know that it's preventable and you don't have to go through any of this if you are um, taking all the precautions that I am recommending. Another problem in the summer months is that patients will sometimes assume that they're just, they have what we call heat exhaustion, where the sun just makes them feel very tired, they're a little confused, they're feeling very sweaty, and sometimes they can miss a very low blood sugar reaction. They're just thinking it's due to the sun. In fact, they're having a low blood sugar reaction, 
and of course they can become very, extremely low and I have a video on hypoglycemia which I will upload and you can watch that to learn about hypoglycemia and how to manage it but you you never want to take the chance if you're feeling anything like that I don't want you to assume it's from the sun I want you to double check and do a manual finger stick to see where your blood sugar levels are so that you can take the proper precautions and god forbid you are in fact low you want to take the proper precautions before actually going severely low which can be extremely risky dangerous and can lead to seizures coma and even death this is why summertime when weather temperatures are hotter i always say make sure you're testing a lot more and if you are in a continuous glucose monitor make sure you're wearing that and also carrying a meter and test strips just in case because we know that uh, continuous glucose monitors can lag a little behind so if your blood sugar levels drops down too quickly the glucose monitor may not catch up right away when in fact your blood sugar may be very low but the the cgm is still reading 90. i want you to be mindful that continuous glucose monitors are great but they do have a hard time catching up to extreme uh extreme blood sugar drops so that's why you always want to make sure you test it more frequently and then you're, you're staying on top of everything as much as you can because we want you to stay healthy and enjoy the summer, of course. We're more prone to running outdoors barefoot and um, going to parks and maybe not being as mindful, but diabetics can develop what we call decreased sensation where they cannot feel if there's something on their foot, maybe a blister or something um, like a nail or anything like that, which can be very, very scary. It can cause an extreme infection, can lead to amputations, can lead to blood infection, which can lead to amputations. So this is why you always want to make sure you wear your shoes that fit well, even in warmer months. And at the end of the day, I always tell patients, please inspect your feet regularly. You can get, you can buy a mirror and you can kind of self-inspect or always have someone in the family inspect them for you. Um, so that way, you know, if there's any changes, any blisters, any openings, any sores, that those can be caught and you need to address that immediately with your doctor before things get out of hand. So now that we've talked about warmer weather, well, we have to talk about winter weather as well because we know that extreme cold can also have an effect on your blood sugars. You know, winter months also make it more difficult for us to stay on top of our blood sugar readings. So you wanna make sure that you're keeping your supplies away from extreme cold, that you're storing them at the proper temperature. And you always wanna avoid getting sick because we're always more prone to getting sick in the winter months. Of course, we're more into uh, closed areas. You know, people are sneezing, coughing, and windows tend to be closed. So of course, we're at higher risk. But now we know that, you know, we can always wear a mask if you're not feeling safe, washing your hands, make sure you're getting the proper va vaccinations so that you can prevent getting the flu or certain viruses that are out there. And whatever precautions you need to take, please take them. If that means wearing a mask at a party, so be it. But we want to make sure you're, that you're staying healthy because getting sick can, uh, makes managing diabetes a lot more difficult. And of course, no one wants to feel sick. We know that that's not a great way to feel. Even winter months, guys, we have to be very active and we want to make sure that we're keeping the, the optimal weight. So I know that's harder because we're less active. We're not really outdoors, but you know, going to the gym or even exercising at your own house, maybe buying a stationary bike, whatever you need to do to stay more active and being cautious, of course, portion control is crucial. Even during the holidays, remember Christmas, Thanksgiving, those are only one day each. It's not a month or two months. So we wanna be very mindful. It's okay to have a little bit of fun and enjoying certain things on holidays and birthdays, but making sure that we're being mindful and we're doing portion control and still staying as active as we can. You always wanna keep your, your hands warm because believe it or not, when our hands are very cold, we're not gonna get the proper blood sugar readings. So wearing gloves and warming up your hands before you do a blood sugar test is very crucial. The meters tend to work best when they're kept at a temperature between 50 and 104 degrees Fahrenheit. Right? So keeping them at a lower temperature, you might not get the accurate readings and that can be that may not be great because you may be treating the wrong blood sugar reading. And especially if you are on insulin, that can become extremely crucial. You may give yourself too little insulin and cause a high blood sugar reading 
or you may give yourself too much insulin and cause a low blood sugar reading. So either one, we're trying to avoid either one, and this is why it's very crucial. So wear, wear gloves, keeping your body at the optimal temperature and storing your supplies is extremely crucial, guys. And of course, make sure that you're not skipping your workouts, staying healthy, watching your portion sizes. Um, so I hope you guys learned from this video, and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. If you enjoyed the video, give a thumbs up, and don't forget to share with others who may benefit. So I will see you guys all next time. Take care.